Hello and welcome to a new topic. What is linguistic sign? In this lesson, we will talk about what is signifier, signified, symbol, and semiotics. Let's discuss each one of the concepts in detail. So the first one is, what is a linguistic sign? A sign is a physical marker which carries some information. The information it gives is direct, brief, and precise, meaning only what it conveys and no other. The sign is the whole meaning of something. It results from the association between the signifier and the signified. Now the question is, what is signifier and what is signified? Let's discuss this concept in detail. We have the word tree, T-R-E-E, -E, with four letters. This is basically is referred to as word, the written form, and its spoken form is represented as tree. So what is written as a word and what is spoken as tree, the sound, this is in fact is known as signifier. So signifier has basically two elements, the written sign of the word and the spoken form of the word, the sound of the word. That is to say, we can say it represents the word or the sound image of something in your mind. So the word tree, which is signifier, what does it mean? What does it convey? What does it bring to your mind? What does it signify? And it signifies a picture in your mind. And this is the picture, the picture of a tree. In other words, we can say the concept of tree. This is what we can call the mental image of the tree comes to your mind. That is what we call it mental image. And this is known as signifier. So what we come to the point is that signifier refers to the word, that is to say the written form or the sound of the word, that is to say the spoken form, which signifies the picture of the tree, which is the mental image, and technically it is known as signify. We have some more ideas to discuss in this direction. What is that? Let's see, keeping this explanation in the background. That which signifies the word is the signifier. That which is signified, the concept, is the signifier. That is to say, the concept of the tree signifies. Sign is the composite of both. That is to say, it consists of the relationship between the signifier and the signified. So a sign cannot be complete unless or until there is association between the signifier and the signified. It is composite of both, combination of both. We have some more ideas in this direction, keeping this discussion in the background. This relationship, once established, continues over a long period of time. So the word tree which is signifier and the mental image that we can see in the picture of a tree. So between the word and the picture, once this relationship is established, it continues for a long period of time. It is established as a social fact that is by society, since it is arbitrary, not a logical relationship. Right from the very beginning, the signifier T-R-E-E -E, tree could have been associated with any other picture we could have accepted that picture as a social fact. That is the point here. There is no logical relationship. We continue our discussion. That is how linguistic sign is considered arbitrary. Uh, we have some more discussion in this direction. Since signs are based on arbitrary relationships, they differ from one language to another. Concepts about the signified, that is the object, mental image, differ from one language to another. We have some more discussion. Every society constructs its own concepts of the real world and links these concepts to certain signifiers. Like for example, this particular image, picture of the tree. In English we call it tree, but in Arabic we call it shajr. In Urdu we call it drakht. In Hindi we call it vriksh. So is there any logical relationship? No, because every society constructs its own concept of the real world and links those concepts to certain signifiers. Picture is the same, 
picture is the one but signifiers are different words are different that is why we call it the relationship between the signifier and the signified there is no logical relationship it is arbitrary but once the relationships are made individuals are not free to choose any arbitrary signifiers they want to choose but once you establish this relationship we have to accept it as a social fact and we use it frequently and we communicate with the people that is how linguistic sign is formed we have some more ideas taking this discussion in the background we have the concept of symbol a symbol is a kind of sign that signifies several concepts based on the primary relationship between signifier and the signified look a symbol is also a kind of sign but sign gives you only one meaning it conveys what it conveys it does not interpret more than it should interpret it carries the primary meaning that is the word tree means the picture of the tree that's all finish but the symbolic meaning of the tree could have layers of meanings we have some more ideas in this direction look at here symbol that is the word tree signifies the concept of tree this is the primary relationship what we call a sign it may also signify that is to say the word tree may also signify life growth etc and when it does it becomes a symbol so sign carries only one meaning it establishes the primary relationship between the signifier and the signified and with the help of that sign we create symbol which contains layers of meanings tertiary meanings like for example tree of life is fading here tree of life is fading the word tree is not the same tree that we just talk about in pure concrete physical form it has symbolic meaning likewise it signifies growth and so on depending upon your ideas your context and your situation what here we need to understand is that sign carries a single meaning whereas symbol carries layers of meaning various shades of meanings that is the point here we continue our discussion in this direction about symbol it contains more information and it stands in place of something as a means of pointing towards it indirectly for example the gesture of waving one's hand is a sign but can be interpreted variously as symbolic of farewell dismissal disapproval and so on so waving hand is an act of sign but interpretations of waving hands in different situations in different contexts in different backgrounds that is the symbol we continue our discussion semiotics so the growth of a whole area of study of the operation of signs in culture and society is called semiotics and the whole discussion we can put it in brief in this manner like parts of sign the linguistic sign consists of two parts what are those two parts the signifier the signified the signified is further referred to as the word and the signified is further referred to as the concept and the word what does it signify which signifies or what does it signify it signifies the object hope you understand the concept thank you mm-hmm.